So I'm back in Kansas. Our team arrived back at our meeting spot just hours ago. I got home around 10 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And that would be around noon in Japan the next day. So that means Friday at home here in Kansas and then Saturday noon Japan time. I think I got to bed by midnight as far as sleep after talking with the kids, giving them a small gift, taking a shower, going to sleep. And I woke up at 3.45 and could not go back to sleep. So I'm going to round that to 4 so that I can do easier math. So that means in the last 65 hours or so, I've had two hours of sleep on the plane, four hours of sleep in DeKalb, Illinois last night, um, and then just had three hours and 45 minutes to four hours of sleep. And so I'm working on transitioning back to a new time zone and thought I would do a blog post and I'd like to say Japan's very tight and scrunched together especially in Tokyo and I would not be able to be doing a video at this time because I'd be waking people up this is the small town Casey's that uh, is in Conway Springs Kansas where I live and no one can hear me as I'm talking on these headphones. So I'm not really waking anybody up. And it's crazy to have this wide open space. And I don't see anyone except for that truck that went by. And I haven't seen a truck like that near me in over 17 days. So there's so many things that are different as we reacclimate and readjust here to the United States. So for this morning's blog post, I wanted to share with you that I told our team that I really wanted us to focus on they will know we are Christians by our love. And we focus so much on allowing our doing to come out of our being. And we made extra effort to pause and just remain in Christ, filling up with His love. And we spent a lot of time just being still and knowing God and worshiping God for who He is and who we are in Christ. In that stillness, we were identifying with Christ and becoming more like Christ and making effort to make sure that we found our identity in the right things and that our motives were pure. So in that stillness, in that quietness, we found that the Japan culture was very supportive of this because of their Shinto and Buddhist background. We had no problem going to a park or even to like a Shinto prayer place they call a Shinto shrine um, where we could just be still and pray through James 4, 7, and 8 saying, Lord, I submit to you the best that I know how and list all the things that we needed to submit, things that caused us anxiety, things that were distracting us, and then to say, Satan, I resist you in Jesus' name. And we were able to pray and thank Jesus for dying on the cross and shedding his blood. Thank Jesus for coming back to life and thanking Jesus 
even though it's painful for us here on earth, thanking Jesus for going to the right hand of the Father so one could come as an advocate for us to remind us and encourage us and comfort us. So thankful for the Holy Spirit who came and dwells inside of each believer to equip us and to help us become more like Christ each day. And so as we're focusing on being still, as we're focusing on remaining, as we're focusing on being, we realize the Holy Spirit is a very important, important person of the Trinity and is reminding us of Abba Father, perfect, Daddy, God. And in light of all that, we see people in earth here, whether it's in our local community or beyond, and we start to have God's heart for the lost. And as we have God's heart for the lost, then we find our heart starting to ache when God's heart aches and celebrate when God's heart celebrates. And that becomes very, very exciting to have God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit's heart. So our team really focused on not only being still, the remaining, the abiding, allowing doing to come out of being, but really focused on motive, just asking God to help our motives to be like His, focused on high trust and high freedom. We focused on really being sensitive to the Holy Spirit as we sought to serve and encourage the people in Japan to help us reach lost people where right they were at, to encourage believers and help them to have Christ-like character and priorities, and then to really encourage the workers in the harvest field that were tired and worn out to remind them to pray for more workers to go into the harvest field and to encourage them to do that same be still and know that I am God that we were practicing. And then for the disciple makers to encourage them to do the same things as far as being still and allowing their doing to come out of their being and not to grow tired or weary in doing good. So here we are just back into the United States, haven't reacclimated, and uh, I'm going to encourage the team to do the same thing as we scatter and go different ways, to start in different colleges and different jobs, to encourage the team to be still and know God and allow Him to love others through us, and to realize in that passage, God says that He will be exalted amongst the earth, that he says that he will be exalted amongst the nations. So for those of you who encouraged us through prayer, encouraged us financially, or if you're just watching this and you don't even know about the Japan Team 2019, you can check us out on Facebook. God worked in supernatural ways, and we are so, so thankful for everything that you've done for us. And like I said, if you're watching this and you've, you weren't a part of the team, we just want to say, join us on the journey of being and knowing Jesus as our identity and helping make him known. God bless you and you have a wonderful day.